All right, so we're going to cut the music early on this one. Let's jump into this for these AMD Phenom users. I am one of you guys. So the issue that we are facing is when we go to click on uh, start up our NBA 2K19 game, you see here, the process just completely disappears. So I try it again. You can see it comes up, and then this is going to disappear again. So today I am going to show you guys the only solution that I have found to work. Um, let's see. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I really need to back out of Steam. So let me check this real quick and then get out of Steam. All right, so I kind of skipped through the video, but I completely exited Steam. And now I need you guys to really pay attention if you're using AMD Phenom um, processor. I'm going to go over to Intel's website and what we're going to do is we're going to download something. So what we're downloading is called Intel Software Development Emulator. This is going to allow us to bypass the uh, SSE 4.1, 4.2 um, compatibility issue or whatever that's preventing us from playing NBA 2K19. So on that little arrow, click the download and then it takes you to this. We need the version for Windows, so click there. As you see, I'm doing this on my screen. Again, I'm gonna have the, the link to this in the description, so open that link up in the new tab. All right, just accept the terms and continue. All right, so now we wanna find the latest version, uh, the latest Windows version, here it is. As you can see, Win, W-I-N right there. I'm gonna click Download Now. Of course, I've already downloaded this, so no need for me to download again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, go ahead, um, use the tool, use the tool that we just downloaded so I can run NBA 2K19 finally. So first and foremost, you have to extract the files. It's going to create a folder. Go into that folder, and you want to go to the, the .bat file. Definitely go to the .bat file and open that up. All right, so now you want to scroll down to where you see the cursor blinking, and you want to type in the drive where you have your game stored. So for me, it's on my F drive. So I go back into that command prompt, I type in F and, and colon, press Enter. Then it brings me down here. I type CD space. Then I copy the directory address of where the game is. Come back to the command prompt where the cursor is. Right click, paste. You have to right click, paste. Control V will not work. Press enter. All right. And then it should look like it looks on my screen. The next thing you want to do is you want to type in the name of the uh, executable file which is mba 2 k 19exe no spaces between it press enter all right and things should load up i had started typing again but you don't need to do that actually so I, i'm going to erase this i actually don't need to do anything more just give it a little time as you can see since we fully exited Steam earlier, now it is restarting Steam, um, I guess within this little emulation tool, it is restarting Steam here. And this method is going to make Steam run a tad bit slower than it normally does, but the game itself should run fairly smoothly. You may have to adjust your settings. Or give it a second but like for for me while I'm recording um, the game plays just a little bit choppy but then once I stop recording after about 30 seconds the game goes back to being smooth but anyway so we're still waiting for steam to load up and we're trying to test this out make sure it's gonna work so we're just gonna wait and I, 
And I'm sorry I have you guys waiting real time with me. I probably could have fast forwarded to this, but I need you guys to know, like, if it takes a little longer on your computer, that's okay. So right now it's trying to launch the game. And I'm just going to let you guys know right here that um, the game is it's not going to it's not going to work correctly this first time around. So I, I previously recorded the footage and I'm just now recording the audio. So just giving you guys a heads up. It's not going to work correctly the first time around, but that's OK. We should see a pop up. OK, here we go. So we got NBA 2K19. So it looks like everything is good, right? So these loading screens, the first time you do this, the loading screens may take a little longer. I think, yeah, I minimized it. I, now I maximized it, and everything is extremely pixelated. So I have no idea what went wrong. Something went wrong, but I don't know what it was. As you can see, the screens are still going. And so when I first saw this, I was like, oh, maybe the game's still going to work. But no, it's not going to work. If you see pixelated, if you see it extremely pixelated like this, something went wrong with the emulation of the game. So what we need to do is we actually need to close this version of the game. Well, I'm sorry, this instance of the game. All right, hold on one second. All right. My internet is running slow today. Don't know why. We're going to keep Steam running. And I I'm just going to close this NBA 2K19 stuff. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, it it's not going to work. All right. All right, so this is the part where it's supposed to be the game menu, but that didn't work. So I close that. I, I'm going to close that out right now. I'm closing that out, and since we already have the emulation going for Steam, basically what I did was I went back and um, selected my NBA 2K19 logo, not logo, my NBA 2K19 shortcut, and um, we don't have to do anything inside of the command prompt right now. Even though we exited the game, that's fine. So now I'm going to try to pull it back up. All right, let me type in my stuff over here. All right. Now I'm trying to get back over to NBA 2K19, trying to tab back over there. I'm sorry that this video is taking a little longer, but as you can see now, it is successfully working as long as we don't get those pixelated, uh, those large pixelated squares, we should be good to go. So let's find out. Okay, so the game is still loading up. AMD Phenom users, please stay patient. The game's still loading up. It is going to work this time around. Um, I'm not sure why these screens take so long. What they do. So anyway, um, if the main menu comes up and everything looks good, then that basically means everything will be good. So, come on, get out of the street. All right. All right, all right, all right. Man, honestly, I'm about to fall asleep right now. Waiting on all these menus. So, like, once you get past... You know, once you get past these menus, you should be able to close up this command prompt. 
All right, so now we're finally in the main menu. I'm going to close the command prompt, and as you can see, it does not crash the game. So I think uh, whatever instructions or whatever's going on with the game needing SSE 4.1 and 4.2 support, I think uh, the game is only calling for it at the very beginning. And so, like right now, now I'm in the game. I exited my command prompt. I'm good to go. I'm about to go into the prelude and finally start gaming. So all you AMD, um, AMD users, I can't even, oh my God, I forgot what the processor is called. Anyway, we're back. AMD users, we're back. <laughs>